Duke of the Danforth. His voice, one of the most recognizable in the city through his memorable commercials. Tonight, tributes are being paid to Saul Corman, the popular businessman and menswear store owner. CTV's Beth McDonnell reports. Corman sold suits and men's fashion staples for close to 70 years on the Danforth. If you're going golfing, dress for golf. If you're going to business, dress for business. His store, Corey's, opened in 1952 and led him to become the Duke of the Danforth. I think someone said in front of Mel Lastman that my dad was the mayor, and then I think Mel said that, no, he's not the mayor, I'm the mayor, he's the Duke of Danforth. Corman's voice in frequent radio commercials cemented his status in the city. I actually tell people, buy shirts for Christmas, 15, 30 off, some and half, put them away. Corey's, ready for you. He you know, had a great town. 569 Danforth Avenue. Son Sean says Corman had a heart attack yesterday afternoon and passed away in his sleep. He says it was perseverance who made his dad who he was, that and caring about people. He built this reputation uh, based on how he felt about people and making people feel good. That's, I think, why he went into the retail business. Donna April lives nearby and always remembers Corman around the shop. She purchased a coat from Corey's because she couldn't find the woman's version. There it was. Of course, I got the smallest uh, mates I could, and then they just fitted it perfectly for me, and I wear it today, and it's just so classy. Corman loved his work, and although he hadn't been to the store since March, for safety because of the pandemic, he missed coming here and talked about it every day. What's selling, what's not selling, selling any suits, selling any shirts, just still a huge interest um, in his business, which was really, it was his life. A life he shared with business owners on the Danforth, like Bill Zias. They had coffee together regularly over the years. His friends will miss him. His friends will miss him a lot. A man woven into the fabric of Toronto. A nice man, a gentleman, and, uh, you know, a, a real sort of Toronto patriot. A graveside funeral will take place tomorrow. Corman was 86. Beth McDonnell, CTV News.